Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here back with another episode of the No Money Spent Road to Glory and today we are going to action packed video. So as you can see by the title, we are going to be doing the 7 block challenge with Dwight Howard today. Had someone in the comments ask for it yesterday so I've got myself up to game 4 so we will be playing that today. We've also got a lot of heat check stuff to talk about. We've got some pre-order packs to open and we've got some comments to go through so a lot to do today so let's just jump into it. So first things first, uh, where's the limited time event today then? It just says stay tuned for the next one. Like, we've never had that since the game has come out. So why have they done this on a Saturday of all days? Like, one of the weekends where people can play the most, or like one of the days that people can play the most, and they've decided not to even put like a bonus couple of hundred MT for every win, or something like that. So, kind of ridiculous, not sure why they've done that. Very annoying. And on to the new weekly objectives. So we've got new weekly ones. So we've got King's Domination. We have got a domination with Magic Heat Check players. And we've got Trailblazers Heat Check players as well. So uh, we need to play two games of Domination here to get both of these done. Which isn't too bad because it's going to be a bonus. What is that, like 2000 MT, something like that. So it's not too bad. Again, I do believe these should be daily ones, not weekly ones. I mean, we would get these ones in daily ones anyway. So why do they cross over? I have no idea, but for the daily ones today, we've got two triple threat games we've got to play, so two Nuggets players, two Maverick players, and then an unlimited game as well using Timberwolves heat check players, so uh, I probably won't get through this one, I'll probably try and get through both of these because that is just triple threat offline, so that is really easy for a bonus 350 MT for each win. I guess you can't complain too much, and I'll definitely get through all of these as well. And on to the monthly ones, so Evolver, we're definitely going to be moving this one up today. Of course, we do have the Dwight Howard, but we've also got a couple of other players from the set that are ready to go. So we should be well on our way to getting those 25 Evos. So down here into the weekly challenges. I did play two of these yesterday in the limited time event, which was get one token for every challenge win. So I played the first two games of this and then I played game number two and three out of here. So we got a bonus four tokens, which put us at 850. And then I went ahead and played a game of Domination as well, which I'll show you guys in a sec, which has now put us at 860. So we're absolutely flying. Uh, and yeah, we are onto this challenge next, week, which we will talk about in a second. So Domination, we are now at 66 stars, which is very notable notable noticeable because it got us the 66 stars overall and that amount was 12,000 MT so it wasn't 10,000 as I thought it was it was 12,000 which was a nice little bonus and as you can see I've already spent all of that 12k so we definitely needed that amount uh, so we will play the two games that we need to do for the weekly challenges to get all of these done uh, and then I'm not going to play any more domination until next week uh, and we'll see what the new monthly challenges are going to be because yeah like I said if any of these have Domination games, I want to actually play them uh, when I actually need to play Domination. I don't want to have to force games of Rookie Domination because, in my opinion, that is really not worth it. So, yeah, we've got plenty more tokens uh, to come from this. Obviously, we've still got three more games in this division, which is going to give us another, uh, what is that, nine. And then that's 32 tokens from these three games. And, of course, we've got all of the Southeast Division. And we've got these last three games, which are going to give out so many tokens, which I am so excited to get to so we'll get to that at some point we've got to play the two games of triple threat offline i might play five just to get us to this 1500 mt amount uh, because at the moment i need all the mt i can get multiplayer challenges we've got new weekly ones so we've got this week 11 one which we will probably play for these six tokens uh, and maybe i should start playing these ones for 2500 mt as well because uh, it's not too bad for a single game obviously with the mt you make from actually playing you're going to get about another thousand so you'll be getting like three and a half thousand mt for one game which isn't too bad uh, and yeah, at this point in the game, I need all the MT I can get. And speaking of that, hopefully we can hit something nice out of our pre-order packs today. Silvers or Amethysts, please, out of this one. And it is going to be a Silver to Car Samson. All right, that is really nice. We do, of course, already have him because we have got every uh, Silver player in the game. But let's quickly go ahead and take a look at how much he sells for. Hopefully it is something half decent. Uh, because I could really do with the MT right about now, and oh my god, 9k, are you kidding me? Gee, that is insane. Alright, we're going to put him up for about 8k and hope that he sells. That is ridiculous. Wow, the pre-order pack's coming in clutch right there, and let's see if the heat check one can award us another heat check player. It can, which is great. Always seems to. Ante Zizic, we've already got him, uh, and he does not sell for too much. But Jakar Samson, that is absolutely massive. Uh, I'm so happy with that. So Zizic coming in 
at heat check level and he's going to be selling for he's actually got a decent value you know uh, i'll try and sell him for like 3.9 and hopefully we'll be able to do that uh, and then before we get on to uh, selling those guys as you can see here i'm at 227 cards away from the 200 tokens and that is because i have gone ahead uh, and put up a few of these cards for auctions so uh, i've tried to make sure that i've kept all the teams we need so we need the mavs the nuggets and then we also need the magic and the blazers so mavs nuggets uh, someone else and Blazers. <laughs> so we've got the Magic there, we have got the Mavs uh, there, and we've got the Nuggets there, and we've got the Trailblazers. So we're all set in terms of those sets, but I have sold off all my Knicks players because they were all going for a lot of MT, uh, and I've sold off a couple of the Thunder ones, and then just a couple from the other sets as well. So we're still kind of alright in terms of how many cars we've actually got in the club, uh, and I think selling off some of the Heat Check players, and then doing what I did, or doing what I said to do yesterday, uh, which is buying up Playbooks, Logos, uh, balls and arenas so you can see i've bought, bought quite a few more uh, playbooks we're up to 18 now and i have been buying them all for dirt cheap so i think if we can sell one heat shake player for like 4k and then buy 10 items for 400 mt like that makes so much more sense uh, so i'm definitely going to be doing that uh, this is really good selling off these shoes getting a bit more mt uh, we did pull a uniform but i will keep hold of that because of course that is adding to our card collector level awards so we've got 15 things in items and we've got one that has sold and that is a nikola Jokic. For 7.9k, so uh, obviously bought him when he wasn't on fire, uh, because he's on fire at the moment, which puts him up at a 92 rated uh, heat check player, which is really high, uh, so our one sold for 7.9, and this one hasn't, so sucks to be you, my guy, um, but yeah, 7.9k for one heat check player, and there we go, we've got Ryan Arki, yep, yeah, no, no, we're going to try, um, he has sold, uh, and what team was he from, I believe he was the Bulls, he was, so uh, we got him for Obviously, we bought him for 2.2k, and we managed to sell him for 4.4. So uh, we're making some big profit off of these heat check players. So straight away, that is like 13k being added into the squad. And that does bring me on to the first comment from yesterday. It was from Ethan Allen. He says, "There's no way the heat checks would all go for 3,500." And I agree, there's no way they would. But on average, I'm going to say they will sell for on average 3,500 because, as you can see in auctions right here. Uh, we've got quite a few of the more expensive ones up in auction. So we've got Taj Gibson up for 7.5k. We've got Dennis Schrode up for 89 We've got a lot of these guys up for like 4, 4.5k. Uh, we've also got uh, Marcus Smart up for 5k. We've got Isaac Bonga up for 6k. Uh, right, let's try and get rid of these. So quick sells for 250 So we'll try and get that for him. Uh, Zizic, how much was he? I can't even remember. That is really bad memory on my part. But I want to make sure... I sell him for exactly the right amount. I think 3.9, uh, and we'll see if he does sell. But I'm really happy that one of those players has already sold, and the Jokic as well. So I think on average, I will be able to get about 3,500 from him. Of course, that is still going to be a ridiculous amount of profit. Now, this Jakar Sampson, I can't believe we pulled him. That is an insane pull. You always want to get a silver player. And of course, it's just a lottery if you're going to get an expensive one or not. So I think maybe 8.5k, and, and we'll see if he sells for that amount. Obviously, I'm always going to try and undercut someone else just to make sure that I do actually get this card sold before their price sort of like tumbles down. Uh, so let's see. Uh, 8.4, 7.9, let's see if he goes. So the, out of the expensive ones here, the Dennis Schroeder going for, um, what we've got him up for 8.9k. And like I said, hopefully he does sell. Obviously, that'd be amazing if he does. Uh, and that is why I've got him up for 8.9. There's none up for under 10k. So if someone wants to buy this card, they're going to have to buy ours. So if any, well, if all of these guys sell, we are going to have so much MT. And we're going to be looking really, really pretty. Uh, and it hasn't really affected our card collector level too much. So I think we've done the really good thing there. Uh, and we've also got 12k up in the top right hand corner already, which is, of course, fantastic. So on to the Dwight Howard award set or spotlight set. So, of course, for the second and third game, we needed to buy Jameer Nelson, Hedu Turklu, and JJ Reddick. So I need to pick all of those guys up. Now, JJ Reddick was 2k, I believe. Jameer Nelson was 1.5. Hedu Turklu was 6.7k. So he was pretty expensive. And then Courtney Lee, I just got because he was like 800 MT. And of course, we're going to need him at some point. Uh, but yeah, Hedu coming in at 6.7k, that is pretty damn pricey. Uh, so I wasn't too happy paying that for him. But you had to for the challenge. And of course, all three of these guys are three-star Evos. And then if we go over to the Evo page, of course, I've already paid a game with them. So Joe Smith is nearly done on his rebounds and his games. We just need to score some more games. But this seven-block challenge with Dwight Howard is a five-minute game on rookie difficulty. So we're going to hopefully be able to score easily 100 points with him and uh, then let's move down here to Jameer Nelson haven't played anything with him Dwight Howard we got 39 out of the 70 and 17 out of 30 so for this challenge where he needs the blocks uh, he hasn't actually got his boost to his blocks yet it's still at a 70 rated 
but I'm going to show you guys that we should be able to do it with this standard Sapphire card. Even with a 70 block on rookie difficulty, we should be all right. Uh, and then, of course, I will get him Evoed in the near future. For the last game I just played, so Spotlight Series Challenge number 3, we need to score 35 with him, which is why he has got so many points. And then we come all the way down to the bottom, and we've got JJ Reddick. He is ready to Evo, so score 10 points in a single game, obviously nice and easy so let's get him done and let's have a look at his requirements what are they going to be so 50 points five three pointers that is really easy and that gets him a ton of gold badges uh, that's really nice he does get steady shooter which is a shame uh, but then he gets some decent defensive boosts as well and he does have a ruby level with three hall of fame badges very nice speed and acceleration go up to 79 not too bad and the mid-range goes up to 94 and three point to a 96 so some decent boosts there for jj reddick and only 50 points i mean that's one game like that's really really easy and then he do turkaloo coming in uh, again just need to score 10 points with him so of course this Really works well for our weekly note. It's our monthly agenda where we need to Evo cards. We're doing all these cards in one game. So really, really nice and easy. Let's get him Evoed up to the Sapphire level. And then he does need 150 points in a single game. God damn, I did not realise that was the requirement. Oh, wow. I saw people post on Twitter that they're getting like 150 points with this card. And I was like, yeah, all right, cool. Like, great. Who cares? Uh, but you actually need that for the Evo. That's that's a little bit wild. Not going to lie. Uh, and obviously 10 three-pointers, you're going to make that if you're scoring 150 points. And then at this Evo level, he goes up a little bit. Nothing crazy. Post moves, uh, shot accuracy, uh, nothing crazy there. But at his Amethyst level, he does get Hall of Fame catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, dead eye. And then also gets some boosts to his speed as well, which is nice. Ball handling goes up to 84. So, of course, with a coach, he can speed boost. And he gets an 89 three-pointer. So, at an Amethyst level, this card is going to be disgustingly good. Uh, and I think I might do this Evo. I might get him up to a Ruby level. I think that could be really fun. And of course, I think he probably will sell for a little bit at his Ruby level anyway. So there's two more Evos done. And they're two cards that I do actually really want to play with. They do seem pretty fun. He do, of course, from last year is just an absolute glitch. And J.D. Reddick as a sniper is always going to be pretty fun. Uh, moving up to Dwight Howard. Now, uh, I've, I've seen the stats uh, or the Evo requirements for him for this second Evo level at uh, the Amethyst. So this is a 92 rated Amethyst. So from this level to the Diamond level, he needs like 2,000 points and like 1,000 rebounds, uh, which is really long. And then you think he's got to go from Diamond to Pink Diamond as well. Uh, so that Evo is probably going to be like 3,000 and like 1,500 rebounds, something crazy like that. And I'm not sure if that is worth it, in my opinion. Uh, and then we need to get this Jameer done as well, because have a look at this guy. So straight away, he's going to get speed and acceleration and speed with ball up to 92. And he's going to get like another 10 gold badges, including floor general and quick first step, which is fantastic. And then at level two, he gets another like 12 gold badges, including range extender and dead eye and flexible release and green machine. His three pointer goes up to a 93, mid range to a 91. And then at his diamond level, he gets another like 15 patches, including three Hall of Fames. And he gets some really nice boosts to his stats as well. So this card is really, really nice. Definitely going to be a bit of a sleeper, I think. So we might get him Evoed as well. So there's so much Evo work to do. Um, so I've got a lot of squads going on at the moment. So this is a squad we are going to use today uh, for this seven blocks. So we're going to get the seven blocks with Dwight. We're not going to score with Dwight. Um, well, actually, we might do. We might actually Evo him up to his Ruby level. So what do we need to get him to a Ruby? We are going to need 31 points and 13 rebounds. So that's pretty easy. So we can probably get him done. So 31 points, 13 rebounds with him. Jameer Nelson needs 20 points and 10 assists. Really easy. JJ Reddick needs 50 points. Again, it should be pretty easy. Is that 50 points in one game? I uh, just want to make sure on that before we jump into a game with him. Is he still an Emerald? Uh, yes, he is. Uh, no, it's just 50 points and then five three-pointers, which we'll, of course, easily be able to get. And then after that, uh, we can start doing... Now, there's no point doing Hedo Turkaloo. No point scoring with him. Uh, so we will actually move him down to the bench. No point having him in the squad. Uh, and then, of course, then we just need to score with this Joe Smith. So 50 with JJ, 20 with Jameer, 31 with Dwight, and then points with Joe Smith. So that is what we are going to be doing today. And, of course, we do need to get seven blocks with Dwight. Hopefully, that's not going to be too hard. It is on rookie difficulty, and we are coming up against Emerald. So, we're going to be guarding Al Harrington, power forward slash small forward. He is undersized. I'm pretty sure he's about 6'9", something like that. 
Um, so let's get into this and let's see how frustrating this challenge is going to be. But it is five minute quarters, so we've got so long on a rookie difficulty to try and get this done. But I'm really excited. So after this game, we should have Jameer ready to go up, JJ ready to go up, and Dwight ready to go up. So that's another three Evos. So we're easily going to have that monthly challenge done uh, getting the 25 Evos. All right, so in terms of our tactics for this game, we're of course going to be off-balling with Dwight. We're going to run in transition because we don't want anyone down in the paint. We're going to get it in to Al Harrington. We jumped a little bit early on that one, but they've got the ball again. Uh, we are just going to keep Pogo sticking it. But basically, yeah, we're going to off-ball onto this Al Harrington. We're going to full-court press so we make them take easy, quick shots as well. They're going to drive inside here. I've jumped a little too early. We got up again. But sadly, that wasn't enough for the block. And again, we're so close. So on the first possession there, we were very, very close with getting a block on pretty much every shot they put up. Uh, let's just go right around here. Jameer Nelson all the way to the rim. And going to get that one to go. So 20 points needed with Jameer. That'll be nice and easy to come by. So yeah, run in transition. And uh, what am I doing on Joe Smith? So yeah, we want to off-ball. We want to make sure, obviously, we're outside of the key. They're going to pass in, and we are a little bit slow on that. Okay, so we need to we need to fix up a little bit. Uh, and let's just go push the pace on this, because we want to make sure we are scoring as quickly as is possible. We're going to give them as many possessions as possible. I haven't actually seen any stat lines from people for this challenge, so I don't know uh, if people are easily getting, like, over 10, if they're getting, like, 15, if they're just about getting 7. Um, but hopefully... There go, they pass it again. Wow, this Dwight feels very slow. He cannot move over uh, very quickly. So maybe I need to leave them uh, a little bit less space, I guess. Um, I'm not really too sure on that one. Jameer Nelson, again, is just going to go right around the defense and inside. So when we've got the 20 with him, we'll start kicking it out to JJ Reddick. Uh, I think Jameer comes with Dimer as standard. So he will give JJ a little bit of a boost, but JJ's three-point is already like a 92. So he should be hitting plenty of shots as it is. Right, give it to Al Harrington down there. And there we go. That should be our first block. It's not. That's annoying. And again, we're going to give away the offensive board and the foul. Uh, okay, so this challenge might be a little bit tricky. Uh, hopefully we can start getting them soon. That was so close to being a block. It was 100% smothered. So we were right on top of it. Uh, and let's make sure we get this rebound with Dwight. If they're going to brick it, they're not. So we need 13 rebounds with Dwight, uh, which again should be pretty easy to come by. But yeah, the later Evos for him just look absolutely ridiculous. We've got Joe Smith inside. We'll take some points with him. Everyone on this team needs to score, of course, apart from Scalabissieri. We're definitely not going to be getting any buckets with him uh, taking away from our Evos. That's not going to happen. We still need a lot of points with that Joe Smith to be able to sell him. But, of course, when we do sell him, we're going to be making a lot of MT. Is Al Harrington going to shoot that? Yes, he is. And there we go. That is our first block. And the did that count as a rebound? I think it did. Uh, but there we go. That is the first block of the game. And it was on a jump shot as well. It wasn't even on a layup. So even if they take jump shots, they're so slow with it. Uh, you will be able to get out in time. So Al Harrington does have the three-point logo. So chances are he will take a three-pointer if he is left wide open, which we are leaving him completely wide open here. But they just do not want to find him. Baron Davis over in the corner. It's going to break that. And that is another rebound for Dwight Howard. Now, three-pointers, of course, this is on rookie difficulty. So... Uh, we should just be able to pull it in people's face and get green lights, which we are able to do. So five three-pointers needed with JJ Redick and 50 points with him. So this is why this challenge is so good. Yes, you need seven blocks as you do have to be locked in on the defensive end for a little bit. But on the offensive end, five minute quarter uh, for a get. Go on, shoot that. I dare you. I dare you to shoot that. Go on, do it. Oh, no, he's pumped. Fake me out of it. Um, yeah, five minute quarters on rookie difficulty means you can shoot uh, so many shots, you can get so many points, uh, and again, I just want them to shoot this quickly, like, and I don't want to have to uh, not get a chance at a block, which is exactly what's happened there, which is a little bit frustrating, let's get this one up to JJ, let's pull it back, and again, 92 rated 3, that's going to be a green, and he's got a really nice release, I do really enjoy that JJ card, so... He's going to be, at the, I mean, all of these Evo cards are incredible when they get to their later levels. Uh, the Jameer Nelson getting like 50 badges, I think, by the end of it. That is another block for Dwight. Get out of there. That is number two already. And Jameer Nelson, he's got the three-point little badge, and he greenlights his first three of the game. So two blocks already in this first quarter. Uh, only one of them on a layup, and it wasn't even on our Harrington. So our tactic of leaving him wide open isn't really working, but... You know, we're getting there. You need to average, well, like, two, maybe two every quarter and then one uh, one quarter with three. Um, but even still, even that's not going to be too hard. But even so, scoring all these points, getting all these assists. Of course, we do need to get some assists with Jimmy and Nelson. So we will get him sharing the ball out. Um, but yeah, Tidu Turkley, when he gets to that Amethyst level, a speed-boosting 6'10 player, um, that is going to be ridiculous. With a 90 or 89 three ball, whatever he gets, it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. All right, again, leaving Al Harrington wide open. He is so wide open, and Jameer Nelson, 
uh, has actually gone ahead and stolen that. I'm not too happy with you for that one, but I guess we'll just take the three. It is moving, but it is still going to go in. So I am on this full court press because I, I thought it would make them take quicker shots. You know, like if they throw the ball down the floor straight away, they've got Al Harrington wide open. Uh, they've also got another guy wide open through the middle, but they just don't want to pass it to him, uh, which is so annoying. Again, there we go. They're going to Al Harrington, and that is going to be a huge rejection for Dwight Howard. God damn, that was ridiculous. We'll take this inside because I want to get the assist for Jameer Nelson, who also has his takeover right now. Uh, and that is three blocks for Dwight, and that was a ridiculous block as well. So he has some mad athleticism, and I am excited to use this card, but sadly, I don't think we're going to be taking him all the way. I think there are going to be other cards. Uh, wow, that actually went in. There are going to be other cards that we're going to have to focus on. Of course, we can make MT off of Evoing up the other players. We are not making anything off of Dwight. That is just purely as an untradeable card. And I think even if we get like that Serge Ibaka, I think the requirements for him from Pink Diamond to Galaxy Opal will be similar to what Dwight will be from Diamond to Pink Diamond. So if you think of it like that, is it worth it? Mm, I'm not too sure on that one. Are you going to shoot that? Are you going to shoot that ball? I don't think you are. Uh, if you can pass it into Al Harrington, that would be great. There we go. Inside, and it's not quite a block, but it is another board. So we're getting to the end of the first quarter here, and we've got three blocks with him, uh, which is decent. We're on a decent pace here. We're just going to bully our way around with Jameer Nelson with his takeover. Uh, he can just run inside, and he's another card. I think if he gets up to his amethyst level, he's going to be ridiculous. Oh, no, he goes up to a diamond card, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, at diamond level, he will be ridiculous. So I'm really happy with the content 2K drop yesterday obviously more challenges more content that's great and of course more evo part cards is also fantastic so can we get another block here let's try and get them inside oh Al Harrington why didn't you take that and they get it out and we don't get another block so three at the end of the first quarter not great but we've been very close on a few of the others so this should be pretty easy as we come to the end of this one I did have a comment yesterday from uh who was it from it was from Peter112092, and he says, How do you do the seven blocks challenge? Well, Peter, I'm showing you exactly how to do it. And the same for you, Bronson Happy, as well, which is a fantastic name. Uh, you're also in the comments saying about it. So hopefully this is going to be me getting those seven blocks, and hopefully you guys can emulate what I'm doing here. And, of course, Evo up your players at the same time. It's rookie difficulty, so make sure you have plenty of Evo cards in this uh, challenge, in your squad for this challenge. Because you are going to get very bored, if not, if you're just scoring with cards that you don't even need Evo points for, you're going to get very bored. At least while I'm doing this, I know that I'm doing really good work towards like three or four players at the same time, as long as as well as getting the challenge done. That's inside, we're a little bit far away on that one. Uh, but yeah, it is fantastic. I'm really enjoying these challenges. All right, that is point number 20 for Jameer Nelson. So he is done for scoring. So now we need to focus on JJ Reddick, but we do need to get the uh, assists with Jameer Nelson. So we'll have to make sure we are... Okay, wow, they've actually taken that. That's a bit annoying. But it's another rebound for Dwight Howard. Uh, and JJ Reddick is going to stop this one for three. It's not the best release. I've actually missed a shot on rookie difficulty. That is just embarrassing, isn't it? God damn. All right, we need to get him in catch and shoot situations. Obviously, his ball handling isn't great. Um, and we'll make sure he's coming off a dime from Jameer Nelson in the future. All right, JJ Reddick spotting up in the corner for three. It's not quite a green, but it is going to go in. And that is assist number three for Jameer Nelson. So we'll make sure he gets his seven assists. We'll make sure after that, uh, we'll get JJ up to 50 points. And then we've got to get 31 with Dwight. I believe it was 31. That is going to be not a block. Are you kidding me? How has he not blocked that then? I have no idea. Oh, that was so close to being a block. Uh, that is annoying. JJ in the corner for only a two, sadly, not a three. He's actually bricked it, but it doesn't quite matter because Dwight is on the board. So another three with JJ, and he's going to hit that one, and he has his takeover now. So he should definitely not be bricking any. Uh, I don't know how that wasn't a block on that last shot down from Al Harrington. That was so inches away, fingertips away uh, from being a block. Again, we've got to make sure we don't get called for a defensive three, but you always want to be roaming around in the paint. That is the best way to do it. Uh, are they going to get Al Harrington coming off a screen? Nope, they're just going to... I mean, this is just ridiculous. I want them just to take a shot. Uh, and, of course, that puts us way out of position for a block. But it's so annoying how long the CPU can take on a possession when you're leaving a guy wide open. Like, he is completely open, uh, and they still do not want to pass it to him. But it doesn't matter. On the offensive end, we're getting through possessions nice and quickly. What is that? A 17 already for JJ. So, hopefully, we'll get him nearly done by the half. There we go. Al Harrington's so wide open. Please pass the ball to him. Oh, JJ Reddick got in the way a little bit on that one, and they're going to pull up for a horrendous shot. I mean, it's great for the rebounds, but it's really, really annoying uh, before we've got this uh, seven blocks done. Obviously, when we get the seven blocks, then we can just relax on the defensive end. We can just start flopping uh, and getting them to score as quickly as possible. But while we need blocks, we kind of need them to be coming into the paint, which they just don't seem to be doing. Baron Davis is just shooting up 
Uh, wild shots. You're going to come inside here. If you do, that is going to be fine by me. Pass it to Al Harrington, please. Oh my god. They just don't want to do it. I'm leaving him so wide open. Again, he is so wide open. Pass it down to him. Nope. And again, they're taking up the entirety of the shot clock for a deep two that they're not going to make. So this might get a little bit frustrating. Uh, if we don't actually get many chances, that is deep from JJ, probably not the best shot, but Dwight is in a fantastic position, We've taken a jump shot with Dwight, he's actually made it and got his takeover now, so 10 boards for him, and he needed 13 I believe, and after that we will start using Joe Smith for our rebounds, because he does need a couple more for his Evo level. Again, Al Harrington is completely so wide open, it's painful, I've had to come out, because I was going to get a defensive 3 seconds, Again, he's still so wide open. They're going to pass it to him. Oh, he's not taken uh, the shot as I thought he would. Again, he's so wide open. Please just pass it to him. They're not going to. And again, they jack up a horrendous shot at the end of the shot clock. Just wasting so much time. I don't see what this CPU is trying to do. Another green light from JJ. So we're literally getting like a five-second offense going here. And they're taking the full 24-second shot clock to not even get a good shot. Right, Al Harrington is so wide open. You have to pass that ball. Baron Davis, what are you doing? Again, he's so wide open. <laughs> oh, it's so painful. Right, I'm literally on the opposite side of the key. They've passed it down to him. And again, that is fingertips away from getting the block. I'm not entirely sure how these aren't counting as blocks. JJ Reddick's going inside for a layup. Fair enough. We'll let you take that one. Um, so we're still at three as we come to the half. We haven't actually got a single one in this second quarter, which is a little bit worrying. Um, I didn't think this challenge would be too hard. Right, scale the yeah, Let's get you flopping. Uh, so that Al Harrington is wide open. Guys, don't steal the ball. What are you doing? We don't need to have the ball here. We are scoring so much. We don't need more possessions. We need less possessions. We need the opponent to have more. And we need them to actually try and go inside. Baron Davis is just doing absolutely everything. So let's flop inside of him. And uh, again, Al Harrington is so wide open. They've gone through to him. He's not taken the shot, though. He's still wide open. They're, again, not going to pass it to him. Going to pass it out to him? Nope. <laughs> just really don't want to use Al Harrington, they've gone to him, and uh, let's get down, and let's, oh, he's come inside, and fate, and again, oh, I don't even know what just happened there, but it's not uh, it's not looking good, so end of the first half, and we've only got three blocks, which we got all in the first quarter, are we going to get this done first time, I really hope we are, uh, they're just not passing him, he's gone cold, but he hasn't even done anything, he hasn't even taken any shots, uh, we're going to have to come up, oh, it's going to come up on Baron Davis, try and get the swat, but it's not going to happen, so we're up by 40, which is easy enough, like the scoring is not a problem, but this is going to be rough. All right, with Jameer for his 10th assist, over to JJ in the corner. Not the best release, but it doesn't matter. Dwight Howard is on the board. JJ's still in the corner, so let's get that over to him with Jameer. That's a green light. That is Jameer's Evo done. 20 and 10, that's all we needed for him. Dwight Howard needs one more rebound, and JJ needs 18 more points. But again, in the second half, we're going to have to get better with the blocks. Again, that's so close, but he gives away the foul this time. God damn it. Alright, so we've got our 13th rebound with Dwight, so his points, uh, his rebounds are done, sorry. JJ Reddick has his takeover, and he is just greening absolutely everything. We need six more points, so two more threes with him, and then we just need to start scoring with Joe Smith. No, we don't we need to start scoring with Dwight, and then we'll score with Joe Smith. But goddamn, I just cannot get a rebound, a uh, block, sorry, for the life of me. They're just not going down into the paint at all, uh, and when they do, uh, I'm just not there. Oh, again, that's not even... That's a block, but it's not from the right player. God damn it. That's frustrating. JJ Reddick again pulling up. It's another green. He is fantastic. Oh, look at the little shimmy as well. He loves to see that. So when he gets evo he's he's going to be fantastic. He is, of course, a little bit of a liability on the defensive end. Um, but I think on the offensive end, he's going to more than make up for that. Uh, again, we're leaving him so wide open. Just... Okay, they've gone to him. Oh, for God's sake. They went to him when uh, Scalabissieri was cutting across him. That kind of messed up my vision there. Uh, but anyway, JJ Reddick down here. Little snatch back again straight into a green. So that's 50 points with JJ. That is JJ Reddick's Evo done. So Jameer and JJ are ready to go. And next up, it is going to be Dwight Howard needing 35 points. But needing four more blocks, more importantly. Oh, God damn it. Al Harrington is now out here shooting threes. Oh, well, there's no way I'm going to get blocks on that. Right, uh, Joe Smith, yeah, we do need points with you, actually. So, uh, But we do need them, more importantly, with Dwight Howard. So if he can just get that up, that'd be great. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get him, what, 31 more points? No, he needs... Does he need 31 points? Yeah, 31 points and 13 rebounds is what he needed. So, yeah, we'll easily be able to get him evoed as well. Go and pass it through. He's so wide open, it's painful. Oh, and just as so I move the other way, was that a block? It was a block. Was it for Dwight, though? I am not too sure... On that, it just wasn't, was it? God damn it, Scalabissieri stealing 
uh, the block there. That's frustrating. Dwight Howard straight through the lane. Uh, and as long as they're scoring quickly on the offensive end, we will give them more possessions. But we're nearly at the end of the third quarter here. And we're still on three. God damn it. Why do they make these challenges so frustrating? Uh, again, Al Harrington is so wide open. Just pass the ball to him. Just do it. Oh, my God. Again, he's so wide open. I'm not even near him. And uh, are they going to take that shot? They're not. And again, wide open for Baron Davis. <laughs> Why was he wide open? I have no idea. Uh, and that is just a complete waste of a possession for us. So, uh, yeah, it's not it's really not looking good out here. Uh, are we going to be able to get that through to Dwight? Yes, we are. He should be able to just put it over them every time down uh, on the offensive end. Oh, God. This is a struggle, guys. Baron Davis is driving in, but he didn't take the layup. He kicked it out. Oh, that is frustrating. All right, Joe Smith uh, is going to be open here. We'll go back inside to Dwight. Hopefully that's not a steal. It's not. And Dwight's going to get hacked. But, oh, again, that was so close. <laughs> Why could Baron Davis have not taken that layup? And we would have had another spot. My only like optimism at the moment is we've got a three in that first quarter. So all we need to do is just get four in the fourth quarter, <laughs> which is possible. But the fact we've got none in two quarters when we've been leaving him wide open... I just don't know what more I can do. Again, like, he's so wide open. They just don't want to pass to him. We're going to get called for a defensive three here. Uh, and again, we've got to be reasonably quick uh, on the moving in. Again, what is he doing? He's just standing there, not doing anything. And the offense is just completely ignoring him. Matt Barnes, are you going to shoot a three? You're not. We're going to go inside to Al Harrington. It's not going to be a block because, again, he's passed out of it. Oh, my God. And the end of the third, we've got three blocks still to our name. So maybe this is too hard that even I can't do it. Oh, God. All right, we'll go man to man because maybe the um, full court press wasn't working. There we go. They've gone inside to him and Dwight gets the stop but doesn't get the block. God damn it, Dwight. Get your fingertips to it. You've got such uh, athleticism. Uh, we need to back this guy down here. Get out of the paint, Scal. Um, please get out of the paint. Drop step on him. That should be easy enough on the score. So we will get him evoed up after this game, which of course gives him a plus 20 to his block. So maybe this is too hard uh, with just Sapphire level Dwight. Uh, come inside. Oh my god, again, so close. So he only has a 70 block rating on this card. When he gets evoed up, it goes up to a 90. So maybe that's a difference, but it shouldn't be the difference because it's literally rookie difficulty. This is the easiest it could be uh, as he slams it down there. So I can't imagine that would make too much of a difference, but maybe 70 block is just not enough to consistently get blocks. But we've got three in the first quarter. I don't understand that we've got three in one quarter and then none uh, in the next two quarters. Al Harrington's going to come in again. We're just not, we're getting the stops, but we're just not getting the actual blocks. Oh, it's so annoying. Dwight, go inside, get a score nice and quickly again. So we're scoring so quickly as we have been the entire game, giving them so many possessions, but only three of those possessions have actually managed to get a block. This is wild. Alright, Dwight with his takeover at least, so we are just going to be easily able to come down on the offensive end and within like a couple of seconds we'll get another score. But as many possessions as they're getting, we're just not even getting a chance of getting a block. We have the last two possessions I guess, um, but again look, just pass it to him, he's so wide open on the rim, what is wrong with this CPU? Why are they not doing anything right? Again, Al Harrington wide open, he's probably going to take that jump shot, uh, we're trying to stay in front of him, we're trying to stay in jumping range uh, if he does decide to pull it. Uh, and again, oh, there we go. Jesus Christ, this is frustrating. Oh my God, again, 100% smothered, but just not a block. How can you, oh, so even I don't know, even I'm going to have to like watch YouTube videos on how to do this now, because uh, this is just getting ridiculous. Oh dear, that is awful. We've had so many 100% smothered contests, which of course means he's right there, like his fingertips away. Uh, but the fingertips just aren't hitting the ball, which of course is the only thing that would count for us and matter for us in this game. Again, he's, he's so wide open. Just pass the ball to him, please. There we go. And he takes a little floater instead. God damn it. Again, another very late, 100% smothered, not a block. So I, I don't know what I'm going to... I'm going to Evo him up after this. Maybe that's going to make all the difference. Hopefully it does, because this is just ridiculous. Uh, he gets the and one there. That's cool, because when he hits the free throw, that'll be his 31 points done. Um, so my advice coming out of this, guys, is make sure you have Dwight Howard at the Ruby level. So make sure you've evo him up from that starter level that you get him at as a Sapphire. Make sure you evo him because if you have the 70 block, it's not possible. I mean, like, I've been so close on so many shots. We've got three blocks in the first quarter, and after that, we've got absolutely nothing. We went three quarters on rookie difficulty, five-minute quarters, and we didn't get a single block, but we got so many 100% smothered contest, so 
yeah, I, I think we're just going to have to try this again with him at a ruby level with a 90 block instead of a 70. Uh, and hopefully that makes all the difference because, goddamn, this has been a little bit frustrating. Uh, Al Harrington's now spotting up at the three-point line instead of just coming down to the paint. And the fact that they just don't pass the ball to him, like, he can be so wide open. Look at this. And they just don't pass it to him. And they jack up a horrendous shot at the end of the shot clock, which, of course, is just a massive waste of time. Let's try and get a three-point here with Joe Smith. For white, and it goes in. So, scoring-wise, this game hasn't been a waste of time. Like, Evo-wise, it's been great. But uh, we didn't actually get through the challenge, so it has been a waste of time in that regard. So, god damn, that is annoying. Wow. Let's take a look at the box scores, but that is frustrating and, uh, yeah, very surprising. We got three in the first quarter. I thought it was going to be an absolute doddle. Uh, and for some reason, everything just didn't work out. How do we not get one block? I don't know. So, box score, JJ Reddick scored his 50, Dwight Howard got his 31 and 13 he needed. Only three blocks, which is insane. Jameer Nelson got his 20 and 10 that he needed. And then Joe Smith got a few uh, stats on his Evo as well. So, that is the challenge not done. Uh, and that is not how you do it, which is really annoying. So, we're going to Evo him up after this. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the way to do it. Uh, so, if you're going with the Sapphire, I mean, that is the tactic to do it. You've got to leave Al Harrington wide open, but... Uh, I guess you just got to be lucky that you don't get uh, just like stops, you actually get the block. So let's go ahead and let's Evo him up. Let's get rid of him at the Sapphire level because that Sapphire card clearly is not good enough. Uh, so Jameer Nelson is done, so that's really nice. He is going to become a Ruby with 92 speed, 92 acceleration and loads more gold badges, which is great. So a Ruby, he needs 500 points and 200 assists, which isn't too bad. And that gets him to an Amethyst again with ridiculous stats. So 500 points is actually uh, really nice. Not going to take too long. Right, Dwight Howard. Now he's going to have a 90 block. That's good. And he's going to have a rebound chaser as well, which is good. And uh, now he needs 400 points, 10 blocks. Of course, we're going to get that done in this challenge, hopefully. And 200 boards. So again, not too bad on that Evo level. That's pretty nice. And then we go all the way down. And we've got JJ Reddick to go as well. So he's going to get loads more shooting badges, which is fantastic. And at the Sapphire level, he needs 400 points, 4 and 53s. And that gets him to his final level, which is a ruby. So that is really nice. Done a lot of evos today. So there we go. 15 out of 25 done already, which is great. So I will go in again with this same squad. Uh, and we will score with... Who are we going to focus on? I mean, this Joe Smith, uh, we still need like 800 more points with him, which is so many uh, compared to how little these guys need. So Jameer Nelson, 500 points, 200 assists. I think we might do Jameer Nelson, because if we get him up to an Amethyst level pretty damn quickly, which I definitely could do, uh, I reckon we could be able to sell him and get some decent uh, profit. What are my fingers doing? I have no idea. Put him down to Amethyst level, and there you go. Look at that, 90k. I mean, there's no way he will sell for that, but if we can get him done today, which we definitely will be able to do, uh, we can sell him and hopefully make a lot of profit. Dwight Howard is not a priority right now. Of course, he's untradeable. Uh, he do as well. I uh, imagine his heat at uh, a uh, ruby level will actually be reasonably expensive, even though it is just one game of, uh, look at that, about 30k right now. So a lot of people have done this, uh, so his price will keep coming down. But that is 30k for one game uh, of rookie domination. That is ridiculous when you think of it like that. So uh, maybe grinding out, uh, where is he? Where's he gone? Grinding out Hidu Turkles could be a massive play. Uh, and then JJ Reddick needing 400 points. How much is he selling for at his final level, which is a ruby card? Let's take a look. And he is coming in at around, well, we've got two. None of them have bids on. Both of them are 6,500. Uh, and none of them have buy now. So we can't give an estimate on that just yet. But there we go. That is going to be the video for today. It's already been a super long one. I'm really amazed that I haven't done that challenge. But let me know down below if you guys have struggled with that challenge. Because I imagine a lot of you will have done as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy the first upload of today. Of course, it is a weekend. So double upload. So be sure to stay tuned for later on today for the second upload. And I will go through all the comments from yesterday's video in the second video of today because this one is already too long so i hope you guys did enjoy today's video as usual please like subscribe and i'll see you next time peace